to do a, uh, I guess it's a pre-update video talking about the stuff that was revealed about Spectres of the Rail and giving an overview on it. And at the end I'll probably ask you a question. So let's start with the, uh, the first big part, which is going to be the updated solar map, or the navigations menu as a lot of you want to call it. It will, um, they're going to be completely revamping the system. It's going to be similar to what it used to be in the alpha beta. But we're also going to have new things called, um, what is it, routes or hubs, or specters of the rail, technically. And you're going to be going through these junctions, I think that's what they're called. And you will either, you'll be doing a set of tasks before you can go into the junction. And there is speculation about when you go into the junction, you're going to be fighting a specter of a frame, primed or normal. We don't know yet, these are speculations, don't hold me on that. And with this current thing, the void will be staying here. As some people have said, it will be going away. It's not, it's blowing up, but it's not blowing up. It's not going to disappear. We will still have access to the void. You will no longer need void keys to access it though. What's going to happen with our void keys, they're gonna get turned into projections. And these projections are gonna be used like our void keys to get our rewards. Instead of going to the mission and getting the reward technically find the mission to get the reward but you always have to have a projection on you these projections have various ranks there go by our tiers actually we have tier one tier one through four like normal but you can level up these projections to get better rewards and when you go through a mission you any not necessarily any mission but you'll find a thing called a void tear you'll take your projection with you onto that mission and go into the void tear complete the objective in the mission and when you come out your projection will be complete when you get to the end of the mission you're going to have a reward drop for you if you have a lobby of four players you'll have four different awards and when you pick out your award if say two people pick out your award you will be able to get something called luminous this luminous will be used to upgrade the projections to get the better tier materials and from what I understand now from DE Drew in the forms was that you're only allowed to have a hundred luminous at a time, which would be the amount to max out a projection. Or you could use them to build void key or uh, dragon keys, but I don't know why you would. They're really cheap anyway. And these projections can be shared. They will always be used in the mission, so you'll be using all four of your keys at once technically, depending on the reward you get. So, hmm. And then there's also talk with the um, void, the void key packs in the syndicates. So hello, Cephalon. You would make an excellent Cephalon, Tenno. Would I? So we have the you void key packs. They're twenty-five thousand standing, as most people would know. And there is speculation that they're either going to completely get rid of these, or they're going to turn them into projection packs. I'm personally banking on the side that they're going to get rid of them because they're low. Was it keys? You used to get four keys with these, and recently they lowered it to three. Tell me if I'm wrong. I haven't bought a key pack in a little while, so I might. It may have been in this past like month or two, and I didn't notice it. But uh, it's three keys now, and it's just gone down after the talk of projections. So they're lowering on that. The next thing is the market overhaul. We are going to have a completely new market. We will be able to actually search for what we want and use tabs and other things to find other items. So say featured, that will, that's where the search bar will be. You'll be able to type in, let's say, mag. If you typed in mag, you'll get prime access. And this, in this tense, you would get this prime volt. And then you will also get mag herself, her helmets, stances, and possible skins like uh, the immortal skin. I don't know if that's going to include the steam skins. I'm not positive yet. I don't know how they're handling that. So don't quote me. And then your whole look may be different from this. It may be the same. I don't know. And then with the part of the market change, you're going to have Forma no longer costing 20. It's going to cost, it will be three Forma, 35 plot. In my opinion, that's a win. And then they're going to be switching Mag's price and Loki's price to repre better represent the starting frame. So Mag currently is 175 and Loki is 75. So they're going to make Loki 175 and make Mag 75. 
which in my opinion is a good thing. It just uh, fleshes out to the cheaper because that's what Mag is. She's a starting frame. Easiest to get, technically. And on par with the new, uh, what is it, the new market, we will also be able to breed um, kittens or kavats, as most people would know. You can, with this update, you'll be able to keep them as pups and kittens forever. They will never mature unless you hit a button that was shown off. It'll be like right around here. Then when you click it, it will mature them, no cost, free to charge, and you will not need to wait the two days or two server resets, or one depending on how you breed your dogs. So that's good in my opinion. And being able to have a puppy walk around your ship and stuff, that's awesome to me. The final big thing for this update that's going to be coming is the Archwing redo for the um, movement. If I'm recalling correctly, in the dev stream, they were talking about how currently Archwing moves in four dimensions, up, down, left, right. And they want to make it six dimensions where you have the cross axes. So you'll have, like, full motion in space. You can go upside down and do all the stuff. So, in my opinion, motion sickness beware. Um, <laughs> you'll be able to press, I think it's the F key they are saying, that'll reorient you back to the flat so you can continue without being flipped around and such. And in my opinion, I think that's pretty cool. It may bring new life in Archwing because we're also going to be getting, from my understanding, it's two new weapons. Next week, or not next week, but a couple weeks from now, I'm not going to say that because considering how this update's going, we don't know when it's going to drop. Um, we will be eventually getting the War Within, which is the final U19 update, which will drop the new Fairy Frame, which I actually have slots for, and I'm waiting. You have remembered well how the Tenno arm themselves. You know, all that good stuff. That was a little silence. Whoopsie. And, um, what was I saying? With, in all of this, I actually want to ask you, in your opinion, what is the most favorite part that you are, that you want to see in this update? Is it the star chart, the market rework? That's pretty high on my list. The highest in my list is actually the Kubros and the puppies and the kittens because, oh my god, having a kitten or a puppy walk around your ship? Are you crazy not to have that? Or is it the arch ring rework? That's just me. Put it in the comments. Tell me what you think. What you want. I'll read it and respond to you. You know, all the good stuff. Now, this was Gorbis and Gorbidin. I hope you have a nice day, guys. Bye-bye.